In the Ashanti pantheon, Dano, is the second son of Yami, and Abriwa. Tano's elder brother was Baya, the god of the wild. Dano was originally a nature god, but later became known as the god of war and strife. Once upon a time, Tano challenged the spirit of death, to a singing contest. They both performed their best, but neither could defeat the other. So, they made a pact, and swore that whenever Tano visited the world of humans, death would also go with him. In a slightly different version of the myth, the agreement was that, whoever reached an ill or injured person first, could claim the person. If Tano arrived first, the person would live. If death arrived first, the person would die. And that, they say, was how Tano became associated with war and strife. Tano is also the god of the Dano River. And the Ashanti tribe told a story of how he gained possession of the Tano River. That he cheated his brother, Baya, out of his inheritance. It happened that Tano's elder brother, Baya, was their father's favorite. When the two sons had come of age, Yami decided to divide up the land between these two. He planned to give Baya, his favorite son, the most fertile land, which was the Ashanti land of Ghana. While he planned to give to Dano, the more barren coastal lands, which is now Côte d'Ivoire. Yami, on a fateful day, sent his servant, a goat, to tell Tano and Baya to come for their inheritance the next day. The goat preferred Tano to Baya, so it went to Tano first, and told him to visit Yami earlier than his brother, Baya, and to disguise himself as his brother. Tano did exactly as he was told, and went to see Yami, disguised as Baya. Yami was deceived, and without knowing who he was, awarded all the land through which the Tano River flows to Dano, instead of Baya. When Baya arrived, Yami saw through the trick, and unfortunately, it was too late to correct the mistake. He could not reverse his blessings and promise. So Baya was left with the dry, barren coastal lands. This story of Tano and Baya, bears a resemblance to the biblical story of Esau and Jacob. In the later Rakhan religion, Tano was a god of protection more than he was the god of war. Tano was seen as a protection deity, especially against the god or spirit of death, with whom he is in continuous duel. Following the agreement, should Tano approach a dying person first, then the human belongs to him, and would survive, and the spirit of death has no right over the human.